for this project we're going to be creating a solar system. Our planets are going to be animated using motion tweening. We're first going to start out with creating a new file. Uh, we're going to select Action Script 3.0. Uh, we're actually going to use some pictures of planets and a sun for our animation. So we're going to go to Google and we're just going to search like picture of Earth, picture of Sun. So let's grab the picture of the Sun. We're going to right click and hit copy. Uh, we're going to go to our flash. We're going to right click and hit paste. Now if the image is really big like this, we can zoom out using the zoom tool. If we hold alt, we can zoom out. Uh, if we use our free transform tool, we can grab a corner and hold shift and scale it down. I'm going to use our zoom tool, click and drag to zoom in. From here, we're going to use our selection tool. We're going to click on our picture. We're going to right click. When we do this, we're going to hit break apart, similar to our flying text. From here, we're going to use an oval. So this is going to be in your shapes tool set. We're going to select oval. We're going to go down to fill. We're going to click on this and use none. We're going to come in here and try to click on the center as best you can. Hold Alt and Shift. We're going to create a perfect circle. Now try to scale it about the size of your planet or sun. Um, it doesn't have to be spot in the middle like mine. Use your selection tool. Come here and select just your circle. We're going to click and move this. From here, we're going to deselect by clicking off our stuff we're going to click on the outside of this picture. We can use our delete tool. So now we have our sun. First thing we need to do is click and drag with the selection tool and highlight both our objects right now. We need to go to modify and group this. So now this is one object. We're going to do the same process for our other planets. When we do this you need to create other layers. So make sure you're labeling them. Be organized. So I'm going to create another layer. I'm going to create one for Earth. So you're going to Google. You're going to find a picture of the Earth. You're going to right click. You're going to hit copy. Go to flash. Right click paste. Free transform. Zoom out. Free transform and scale it down. Click and move this. Uh, we're going to zoom in. And you want to make your planets a little bit smaller than your sun. Kind of same process. We're going to use the selection tool. So selection tool. We're going to click on our picture. We're going to right click. We're going to hit break apart. We're going to use our oval. We're going to hold alt again and shift get it fairly close. Use our selection tool. You can use arrow keys to kind of move them around. From here we're going to select the outside of our picture and hit delete. From here we're going to use the selection tool again. Click and drag. Highlight both of those. Go to modify and hit group. Next thing we're going to do is create another layer for our orbit. This is just going to be a layer uh, to help us create our motion guide. So I'm going to use oval again. I'm going to click in the middle of our solar system, hold alt, kind of stretch it out. Um, you want our orbit to not be behind your sun like this right here. So kind of spread it out a little bit. About here would be great. From here we're going to use the selection tool. We're going to move our earth. And that little center point, our registration point, it will auto snap to that orbit. Now we're going to go to frame 40. You can go longer than this, but we're going to highlight all these frames, right click and hit insert frame. From here, click on the first keyframe on our earth layer. We're going to right click here and hit create motion tween. This will convert our earth into a symbol. From here, we're going to go every 10 frames and we're just going to click on our object and move it along our orbit path. And I'm just going every tenth frame, going in quarters around the orbit here, um, whichever works for you. Then our last frame, we'll get it fairly close, but not exactly past our point. Now, if we actually play this, you're going to notice, hey, it's not really following our orbit. It's following our motion lines. So 
if we actually come up here and use our mouse, we can curve it like a line. So we're going to actually curve this and get it close to our orbit line as best we can. We actually come up to our orbit layer, right click and delete it. And we can actually come up here, use some arrow keys, kind of click, smooth out this orbit line as best as we can. We want it to look pretty good. From here, let's view our results. This is what we're going for. From here, you would need to create one more motion path for another planet. 